Hello, Westminster. I'm Michael Goldstein. I run uh, sales and marketing here at Ting. And a few of us came uh, came to Westminster just a couple of nights ago. We were at the uh, Westminster Branch Library, and we were talking about Ting, a little bit about who we are, about uh, gigabit internet, about fiber, about the the build out in Westminster. And it was a it was a great conversation with. Uh, 25 to 30 people, and we thought it'd be a nice idea to share this presentation with uh, with anyone who wants to look at it. But we we looked back at the presentation that I had put together and realized it was just a bunch of pictures, and you would have no idea what uh, what any of them meant unless I put a little voice against it and and gave you some explanation. So I'm going to quickly walk you through this and. Um, and I really hope it's just the beginning of a conversation that you uh, that you chime in on our blog and you send messages into uh, into our, our help team and uh, and sort through any any thoughts or, or questions you have about the service because uh, because I'm hardly going to be able to cover everything here. But I appreciate you checking in. So first, I wanted to give you an idea who we were and and where we came from. Uh, and, and what we're doing in Westminster. So we started four years ago a, a cell phone service built on the uh, the Sprint network, and, and we since added the T-Mobile network. And the, the idea for us in cell phone service was uh, was was simply this: we we realized that people didn't like their cell phone providers, and and uh, and that the whole world of cell phone plans uh, just seemed to be this sort of elaborate game that that people were kind of destined to lose there was always confusion i don't know if i picked the right plan and then i picked a plan and uh one month i went over what i expected to go and i got this huge penalty and and uh um i decided to go unlimited but i think i'm spending more than i need to and if i call up um i just find myself telling the same story uh, over and over again to people who who can't quite help me and so there was that sense of sort of confusion and helplessness and and you know we came in uh, with the thought that um, that we can we can do it in a way that uh, makes much more sense and and uh, and sort of rights a lot of the wrongs that had just been built up over time as as conventions in in that particular industry and so for us it really came down to uh, to three things and this ends up being relevant because it's it's really very very similar to what we're we're doing uh, with our internet service uh, number one I'll almost do it in 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 backwards order of, of importance. Uh, number one is usable interfaces. Um, you just find when you deal with a cell phone company or, or a cable company, um, so often it's like it's like dealing with the government. It's like you're filing taxes or something like that. And there's these, you know, even reading your bill is this 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 lengthy thing. And and uh, and every once in a while, you you have an experience with some smart little internet company, and you say. Yes, that that is such a more logical way to present this information, or to allow me to to um, to change features or anything else. And we really wanted to bring that sort of sensibility to our services. And and uh, and I think people have had that sort of experience with us. You know, when they use our app, when they log in, uh, when they look at their bill. Um, the second is is honest pricing. And and I don't want to go too deep into this because if I talk too much about our cell phone pricing, it's 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 not necessarily that relevant. But the idea is to unpack anything we offer in a way that makes it easy for people to understand uh, whether what 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 we're offering is right for them and for them to know uh, exactly what they're paying and and why there, there's so much in in both cell phone service and an in internet uh, where you know this is this is the price you're paying for the first 12 months but then it jumps to this after that and this is this fee that that never quite gets listed anywhere and so uh, you know so in cell phone service, um, we saw this opportunity for people to pay uh, based on what they they use and in in internet um, it's more um, uh, a very simple opportunity for people to just get uh, way more speed than they're able to get uh, elsewhere and and uh, and I'll talk about that but in both cases the idea is to be as clear and transparent and honest as we could possibly be um, so people understand exactly what they're paying and exactly what they're getting and uh, and and finally um, uh, outstanding customer support has really ended up being uh, crucial for for our brand and and, and what's made us uh, successful so far and and it and it's I, I could go on and on about this it's mostly about hiring and training and empowering people so that when you call up uh, you end up having this experience where the person you're talking to is is 
is able to help you and 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 they're resourceful and they're creative and they have their own opinions and they admit when they don't know something and uh and they have permission to kind of get into the system and do anything they need to do to solve your problem and and there's something about it that just ends up being a a, a very different kind of experience than people have with with the average service provider and um uh, I won't I won't linger on this too long because it would just be it would just be boastful but um, but we've done very well people have have uh, and and it seems funny to us people have have you know applauded us for for being uh, innovative and heroic and and the truth is uh, what we've done so far in cell phone service couldn't be simpler we we've just been um, uh, well intended and 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 honest and and uh, and affordable so um, so we're we're very pleased with with the way uh, that's been received. And um, and this I, this I will take a second to boast because it was such a big deal. But we um, we ended up getting included in in Consumer Reports annual survey of of cell phone services, which just that is is an accomplishment that um, that shows the kind of relationship we we have with our customers. We've got you know maybe a little over a hundred thousand uh, uh, accounts. You know, let's say a hundred and uh, uh, you know. 50 160,000 subscribers uh, on the service and uh, and you're talking about a, a, a category that's got 350 million uh, cell phone customers so there's really no reason if you're doing a uh, a survey um, that we would come up as as a, as a provider that needs to be included just yet but uh, but our customers sort of lobbied on our behalf and we ended up getting included in in this survey and we got the highest rating um, ever in the history of Consumer Reports for for customer satisfaction, and uh, and it was just a big big deal for us in terms of uh, in terms of our our credibility and and people hearing about us. And the reason I mention this to you, Westminster, is because uh, what you want in a provider is someone who is sort of small enough and and new enough and eager enough to be to be hungry and to do backflips to 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 please you and and to uh, to earn your business. But uh, but then you want someone who uh, who knows what they're doing, and and uh, my hope in, in showing you all this is that you'll realize we are um, we're kind of a nice uh, nice balance of those things, and the business is going well, and and uh, and the reason I show you this is to say that uh, that we were succeeding in cell phone service, and uh, we started thinking, okay, where where can we take this? Where where else can we go that uh, that people need? Uh, need to have a, a provider that they trust and uh, and that they have a positive experience with, and uh, and the reason we started thinking about internet access or fixed internet access, we we uh, we, we call it sometimes. So access to your your home or business um, really came down to to two reasons. The first was that we felt uh, that the internet was um, was evolving and, and growing as, as you know as you know and and uh, and was delivering um, more and more applications more and more opportunities that required um, speed beyond what existing networks were ever intended to deliver right we, we, we had networks uh, throughout the country throughout the world that were intended uh, for uh, for phone service were intended then for 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 television and we've managed to cram data through them and 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 do so much of what we do on the internet through them and, and it's and it's been a pretty brilliant solution uh, up until this moment but uh, but as video conferencing and video streaming and and uh, um, uh, cloud services that allow us to to upload and download files um, are becoming more and more popular, and things are being invented that that require even more speed than that. Um, the thought is that uh, um, it's time to really take a look and 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 build networks that are intended from the very beginning to to uh, to provide this sort of solution and 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 to to do what what the internet needs uh, it to do and and you know the the deal with existing providers is they're doing very well they've they've got their networks and uh, and they uh, have you know in any given town you know a Comcast or or a, a um, you know, a Time Warner Cable have have you know seventy eighty percent of of the people in that town. It doesn't really seem to make sense to them to rip everything up, build a whole new uh, uh, fiber network, um, and deliver more speed to just get you know a handful more customers. So they're kind of happy with the way things are, and that has us uh, jumping in and saying, well, we've we've got 
we've got all sorts of reasons to um, to 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 be willing to to help deliver those networks. And and as I'll talk about in Westminster, towns are starting to say, you know what, we'll we'll do it ourselves. So I didn't even mention what you're looking at here is uh, um, is optical fiber, which is uh, which is the only technology uh, that can that can deliver uh, data at the speed of light, and it is. Uh, Scientifically, there is there is nothing that should be faster than it for for many many years to to come. So it's not one of these things where you say, oh, okay, well we'll get uh, we'll get this, but two years from now there's going to be something even better. This this is uh, this is the technology for for the next several generations. The second reason that uh, that we thought about. Uh, getting into uh, to fixed internet service is simply that as much as we've been enjoying how much more people like us than the cell phone providers out there, um, the, the, the cable companies seemed even even easier for us to, uh, to, to best. So, um, so there, there is clearly no, um, no love out there between people and their cable companies and we thought, well, we can, we can deliver a much more delightful experience than that. So when it comes to uh, building out a fiber network, and uh, um, and delivering uh, uh, something like the kind of speeds that that um, that we're going to be delivering in Westminster, which I'll talk about. Um, towns really have two uh, two choices. Um, what I would call a build or or beg decision. Um, beg means you hope that either one of these existing providers, like a Comcast, uh, decides to up, uh, upgrade your your network, um, or you hope that maybe uh, um, you convince uh, like a Google, and, and Google is, is fantastic, but Google can only come to so many towns, uh, you can convince them to come to your town. And, uh, and, and a handful of towns have been successful in, in uh, uh, attracting um, private uh, companies, providers to, to come and, and build a network for them. Um, but more and more, uh, towns are making the kind of choice that, that Westminster made to build their own, to say, you know what, this is, uh, this is, this is water, this is electricity, this is, this, you know, these, this is, this is like highways. Um, we, we need to build this for our future and, uh, uh, and we should own it. And, and then once we build it, then we can talk to uh, providers like Ting uh, about helping us uh, manage the service on top of it. And, and, and so we, we think Westminster has done a brilliant thing um, by, by taking that on uh, themselves and, and, uh, and owning that um, forever and, and, uh, and working with someone like us to get that nice combination of public uh, where the, the the fiber is is built uh, with the with the community's best interest in mind, and then private, where you bring someone in like us um, that that is proven to uh, um, to deliver a great experience. Uh, just to give you a sense of what we're talking about when we talk about speeds, the speed that uh, that is available through Ting and and uh, that is made possible by the the network that uh, that Westminster has built uh, delivers uh, a thousand gigabits. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a thousand megabits or a gigabit per second, um, and that's both uploads and downloads. It's it's funny. It's very rare that uh, that you find people talk about the, the the downloads and the uploads. And in fact, this information that you're looking at from Akamai, um, I believe, is is just referring to downloads. But the upload um, becomes more and more important as you're as you're uploading files to the internet, as you're doing gaming, uh, which is which is constantly sending information back and forth. But uh, but what we're talking about is is one thousand megabits per second or, or a gigabit per second upload and download. This is the very best speeds, very best average uh, speeds um, across the, the country by state. And you see 18.6 uh, megabits per second is, is, the, is the very best in terms of uh, uh, which state, uh, in this case, Delaware has the best average speed uh, for internet. And so, so you're comparing 18.6 um, to, to 1,000. Um, in terms of what that could do for a town, there's sort of a parallel between what it could do for a town and what it could do for uh, for businesses, and it really it really just comes down quite simply to to productivity. It's um it's it's both um it's both about time, right? You're just spending less time. Um, uh, downloading uh, documents and and waiting for for pages to load um, and and more time uh, 
conducting business and, and doing the things that ultimately uh, make money. And, and so at a business level, um, that, is, uh, um, that is a huge advantage for, for businesses. Um, and at a, at a, at a, a market level, at a, at a, at a town level, um, it, it, it can, it can in increase the, uh, the, the economy. It could, it could uh, attract um, uh, other companies to come to take advantage of, of that infrastructure and, and ultimately create jobs. Um, for a household, it's it's um, it's in a way a more interesting discussion. I think for for businesses, it's it's a it's you know it's almost an obvious uh, um, uh, conclusion. But but for 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 households, it's interesting. What it what it means for households is is um, is being able to take advantage of and have a better experience with um, more of the kind of services that I'm representing here. So, so having more of your um, more of your entertainment, more of your communication um, going over the internet, and and in so many ways, um, a lot of what this is about is starting to replace um, some of the existing services that you have. So more and more uh, using uh, uh, Skype and other. Uh, um, uh, IP solutions, uh, uh, ways of, of, of talking both just voice and video uh, over the internet more than necessarily uh, using the phone. And in the case of, uh, uh, of Netflix and iTunes and YouTube, it's, it's doing more of your entertainment over the internet uh, than, than traditional cable. Um, and then in, in, you know, in the case of something like Nest, which I threw up there, it's, um, it's, it's just all these amazing things that you can have in your house to control your, your air conditioning and your alarm system and, and, and so many ways that, uh, that a household can benefit from, uh, you know, from this, this um, just limitless uh, uh, supply of, of fast internet uh, coming into the home. So this is uh, what our uh, what our packages look like, and, and you could see this on the website, and um, and I'll, I'll talk just briefly because this is a conversation you'll you'll see us having uh, on the blog, and we're and we're willing to have in forums and over and over again uh, how we landed where we did. The, the the simplest way to explain this is you know we looked at what's going on in, in internet access today. And I described you know, the situation where the existing providers are, are, are quite comfortable where they are delivering the speeds they are, let's say you know, 15, 20, 25 uh, megabits per second. Um, and, uh, and charging for that, so, you know, when you bundle it all in, um, I think a reasonable amount. So, so we didn't come into this saying, ah, the opportunity here is to help people save you know, five, 10, $15 on their bill. What, what we came in saying is um, speeds are inadequate and they are gonna, they are gonna become uh, increasingly inadequate every year as the internet delivers more and more amazing ways to, to, to benefit from speed. And so we said, let's just be um, about the gigabit. Let, let's not, um, let's not wrestle it out in, in that sort of middle territory and deliver similar speeds and come up with hyperbolic names like, like premium and uber fast and things like that. Let's just go to a different place and, and say, if people want and appreciate um, this, this you know, crazy fast speed that we're offering, then we're gonna offer a fair price for that, which, which for homes uh, is $89 a month and for businesses is $139 a month, which uh, you know, if you're if you're in the category of of someone who certainly in business who uh, who is frustrated and is hitting up against the speeds that you have, um, so far people are looking at that and saying, absolutely sign me up. If you're someone who um, who says, you know what, I kind of have what I need in my home. Um, I still rely heavily on on cable TV. I, I still you know use my landline. Then. We, we do not go out of our way to try to convince people that you need this desperately right now. It's sort of, you, you, you do or you don't, and I think over the next year, two years, three years, more and more people will. Um, the five by five was really just us as we came into a town like Westminster. Um, we didn't want to uh, come in, build out uh, you know with the town uh, this fantastic network and um, and then uh, and not have something that um, we thought was kind of a goodwill offering that 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 could benefit uh, everyone. So so all the five by five is uh, so that's that's five megabits per second uh, uploads and downloads, which is 
uh, you know, it's it's sufficient if you are browsing the web and and you know doing email and doing basic things, and it's uh, it, it's it's not going to be sufficient if you're doing some of the more wonderful things that I talked about. Um, but what that is is if there's people who don't even have adequate uh, internet access, if there's people who can't stand their existing providers, this is us saying, hey, we 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 do want to help you too. But mostly the decision we've made is to go all in on the gig. And a, and a huge part of this, if you're uh, if you're a, a household thinking about this decision, is about what's what's come to be known as as cutting the cord, and um, and that means you know right now most of you have at home your your cable TV and your internet are are bundled together, right? So if you were to get internet from us, even though you'd enjoy um, that that fantastic speed, uh, but then get cable TV on top of that. Uh, that would be prohibitive. That would be quite expensive. And so, uh, so more and more, there are forums and blogs and and uh, sort of a fantastic peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, you know, help sort of uh, um, uh, conversation going on uh, about how to get all the the, the television you enjoy um, without needing uh, that that traditional cable package, and that involves uh, getting some uh, programming uh, over the air through an antenna. Uh, which which you are entitled to free high definition uh, TV from from the major networks net, networks and so that covers a lot of what people want in terms of their their news their local sports and um, and then how to get a lot of what you need from direct subscriptions to someone like uh, HBO um, uh, some of the other uh, sort of leading content providers where you don't need a cable. Uh, subscription you can you can just sign up directly for that and get it over the internet and then obviously it's wonderful services like Hulu and and Netflix and then and then people choose their 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 their, their set to top box like an Apple TV or something called Roku or something Google makes called Chromecast uh, that helps you organize all this it's way more than I could talk about today but but we're talking about it more and more on our blog and there's lots of wonderful resources that could show you that you can get an internet subscription like ours and spend, you know, maybe twenty, twenty-five, thirty dollars in addition to that, rather than the, you know, rather than the the hundred plus that people spend for cable, um, and end up getting everything you you need. This uh, was a big part of our conversation at the library, but there's not a whole lot I'm going to say about it here. Um, we'll talk about it more and more as we go on the site, but this is a, a glimpse at what the, uh, what the build out uh, looks like. And again, this is, this is the town building out the network and then us sort of happily providing service uh, once, once the network is there. And so what you see in orange is where we've rolled out to uh, uh, initially. It's, it's, it's meant to be one residential neighborhood around Fairway Drive and Carroll Lutheran Village and one uh, heavily concentrated business area, which is, which is the airport business area, to kind of start to get a feel for uh, um, how well this is received uh, among homes and among businesses. And then in 2016, the goal is to go into the areas uh, you see in yellow, and then once we've done that, roll out to where you see in in uh, in blue. So this is uh, this is the plan. There was a lot of discussion about whether there's an opportunity to affect this plan. We will definitely give people an opportunity to sort of raise their hands and say, "Man, we would love it if you got here uh, faster." But I, I will make no promises about uh, about what we can do because uh, the city really needs to do this a little bit at a time in terms of uh, in terms of uh, uh, affordability and being able to line up financing and doing it properly with the contractors uh, so that they're benefiting from every you know every foot uh, that they take the the network in in one direction or another. And that's it. We we uh, we put this up uh, on the screen at the library library event. Dot ting dot com uh, with the promise that this uh, that this URL would offer two hundred dollars off installation if you sign up for ting and and so now I, I guess I've uh, I've published that on the internet so anyone who has uh, has made the effort to um, to and taken the time to to listen to me is welcome to use uh, this URL and get yourself a, a discount on uh, on sign up. Thank you so much and again please. Um, we're, we're, we're the kind of company that likes to include uh, our customers and our prospects in the, in the process. Um, 
be part of it. Come on to the blog, uh, make comments, ask questions, call up our, our uh, uh, support team and and, uh, and let us know if you've got very specific questions about uh, about your your decision that you're making or, or, uh, or your residential or, or business situation and uh, and we'd love to talk it through with you. Thanks so much.